We are here for round two of the Heracross team. Thank you to everyone who hit the like button. If you didn't hit the like button, if you did hit the like button, hit the like button. If you're going to enjoy this content, if you haven't enjoyed this content, hit the like button just to show your defiance for me saying hit the like button. So win win always around. But no. um, yeah, so because always I'm trying to remember to, to remind everyone because I'd be forgetting to remind y'all. So I mean, how can I expect you guys to even remember to do it? Right. Um, but yeah, it, it is. It, I have noticed um, in terms of the reach and then people who are new to the channel discovering us it's because of those who do remember to do that so i wanted to show my appreciation so yeah uh, heracross excited uh thanks for getting got thanks for everybody who left teams i'm definitely going to be trying out um i think this is that quick claw stuff right if i recall correctly change pull tail for trader right all right blessed um so what do we have here Got a couple methods, couple, couple things going on. Got focus sashes. Got focus sashes, you know what I'm saying? Um <clears throat> Tusk is really important. Very, very important. Sloking is very important. Coronite is very important. If I get rid of that, um I don't know what the enamorous is. But my, my Corviknight can sweep the opponent. I just need to get rid of his Enamorous and slow bro, I think. I think this is Nasty Pot, I don't recall. Um, Arrow Cross is lethal. So Phasal, I'm gonna, honestly, I'm going, cause I'm expecting these screens, we're going to um, uh, control for that very easily here. But especially cause Tusk is a big issue to come in on. Right, I figured he'd do that. Um, so what this does is allows for because you're gonna have to reflect reflect in screens and then this allows for me to knock off again um, as he asked for the light screen but whatever he's gonna choose to reposition is gonna either lose his quick claw or okay Ursaluna surprised it had a quick claw truth be told to you um, so we're gonna hard switch to Corbinite um, and off chance this runs towards the answer right obviously we can just iron defense I didn't think he'd be faster than me. And now he's going to hard switch out because he's like, oh shit, I do not want any smoke with this guy. I don't want any guy to smoke with this guy's Corviknight. But okay, he wants smoke with me. He doesn't understand how this works. <laughs> so Ursaluna dies. What's this guy's point? 16. Okay, makes sense. So Ursaluna and Grimmsnarl are effectively neutered. So the question is, how does one control for this Corviknight, right? Um. The reflect is irrelevant for anything that could potentially come in. Um, Enamorous is a bitch, but I wondering what. Well, I guess the reflect matter. What what could this do? Was this common? Like he was always gonna gonna resist my body press, so I'm not concerned about that. And yesterday we lost to an enamorous, so let's see what it is. I see mystical fire. I'm gonna sludge bomb spam. Uh, okay, so he may not be. So King Gambit's interesting. He has two turns of reflect left. So if he enamorous switch, he hard switched out the enamorous, which implies that he doesn't have sub if it has mystical fire. Um, it may be choice specs as well. Um, the only pivot he could make would be back to the enamorous, which gives him very little um, leverage. Uh, so he swords dances. Well, this could be Terra, um, Terra flying. So perhaps I should have went Coronite. Um, so what I'll do is, is ugh, uh, this is concerning. I do have Focus Sash, but what's my best play? As one turn to reflect. I gotta be mindful of terrifying when I do these things. Do I have Sacred Sword? And I'd have potential razor shell plus sucker punch plus. And I have potential iron defense Corby. Who honestly is only on the team to beat this. So if he stays in, he's gonna iron head. So what I'm gonna do is go actually hard Corbinite here. Um 
So he is terrifying. Let's see if he's faster than me. <clears throat> if he is faster than me, there's an issue. Now the upside is that uh, I don't know if he's faster than me. Now that's a little concerning because if he low kicks again, I'm finished. If I tear a water, it won't matter. I need to know if I'm faster. I'm going to iron defense again. I am faster. Right. Okay, excellent. So I can Terra this then. I'll Terra Water Roost. So even if he wins a tie, even if he gets the claw, I think I'll be fine. Right, because I get rid of the low kick. And now I can um, Iron Defense away to force this fucking thing out. Um, see how much we're doing. Doing a good bit. Doing enough. Need to be mindful of this damn um, Quick Claw. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch did 36, which means I'm free to roost here. Um, he may get it again. The Gambit being gone, plus my Samurai's fine, so I'm not even concerned about it. Very surprised that he he went for um, low kick. So now the Enamorous is in. The Enamorous is now. Uh, and at this point, let's, let's break it down. What wins? There's no Trick Room as far as I can tell. Um, Shadow Ball goes crazy. Um, Heracross goes crazy. I don't know what the Iron Hands is even supposed to do. But Galarian Slow King should defeat his slow bro. Um, I don't know what. Okay, Belly Drum. I'm not concerned about this because he's already Terrored. And I have a Samurai that can just see some edge. So. Um, and I have a, a Great Tusk, which I don't think he can do one shot. Uh, so I'd assume, like, what could he do? Does this shit learn Drain Punch? Even if it does, I have Sucker Punch and Ceaseless Edge. So there's just no way. So what don't I need? I don't need Corviknight anymore. Let's guess the Quick Claw. Let's see what happens. What does he use? The earthquake. Okay, and that shit kills. Well, um, you won't even get the Quick Claw here. I'll just knock him up. But yeah. Let me get that young spike, which is blessed. I do want to keep my sash. Do y'all chance this bad boy is something strange? It's just some strange for change kind of guy. Uh, so Tusk makes there's no downside. I could have I could have um, covered for a drain punch, but he won't get enough back to where a drain punch will matter. Um, as you see, he went for ice punch, knowing that the smoke is something he did not need. Smoke gets a critical hit there. Forgot about his quick claw actually. Forgot that's what the item was. So the sludge bomb here, we get a poison which seals the deal. As he um moon blasts, rightfully so. Uh if there was gonna be any wind chance. So I uh, also this life is not gonna be super long. Did we lose that much from um, that last dude yesterday? What was he, sixteen something? Remember the dude with the enamorous that's so we're facing, facing, um, hard stall. Should be interesting. If I had SD, um, Heracross, this would be a bloodbath. But Terra Normal is problematic as well. Um, he doesn't have a normal resist. Let me see if I want to tear anything else. Not Pult, not this. Like Corviknight be more useful Terra. Would Sloking be more useful Terra? No, no, so Heracross tearing is going to be king. Have fun, bro. Um, yeah, the combination of... I'll slow play this. This might be the rest of the live, depending on how long this takes. So let me break this down. What can I... His hazards are Tinglu. But he doesn't have a spin blocker. So this, the Tinglu itself is going to be the spin blocker. Samurai in and of itself, if I had knock would have been blessed. Um, would have been so blessed. But Great Tusk forces in a Loma Mola, which is gonna be so so I'd assume the opponent tries to let me see a Loma Mola uh, I'm really not sure what to expect here. I figured Pex would be the initial, but I don't know what to expect. Uh so obviously I can chili recep. Perhaps hard tinglu here. I could see a case for me chili receptioning straight up. I'm actually going to do that. So he goes for um 
the okay so that's his game plan I think poison get does more than um, I think poison does more than um, okay then so ditto cool this is okay balloon ditto that's very interesting I guess that's for the ground types okay well I guess I'm gonna get his balloon oh no I'm not Tinglu does not get poisoned um, dang wonderful wonderful decision making well he won the speed tie which is why that worked personally he should have hard switched okay so we're gonna be playing the hazard game fair enough oh he earthquakes which is the correct play earthquaking straight up on the off chance you get a crit uh, especially because you can't spin block outside of the tinglu itself so um, what we're gonna do is uh, go for rocks okay the ditto came in the ditto question is do I care well this this ditto is packing the rocks but it's not as bulky as my tusk right obviously he's gonna take way more so Loma Mola comes out and we're gonna play this game what's his hazard control he doesn't have hazard control so every time tusk comes in um, items shall be removed as we opt for is it better to chili here no it's better to future first okay so he's gonna get to slack off but this allows me to oh he chili chili is a wild play chili is a wild play chili is a wild wild west play um Tinglu, there's no drawback to the EQ. There is a drawback to him, Terra Ghosting, but I don't think he'd do it here. Let me think this through. Because I could, I could maim a Mon right now. I could kill something now if I click the right move. If he Terra Ghosts the Lu, Samurai becomes more problematic, but I've lost my item on my... I'm a Terra normal. He fucking stays in and protects. That's something I didn't expect. Um, I mean, I'd assume this is Terra Ghost. Like, my Heracross is really important. I want to... I want to anticipate this Terra Ghost so badly, but I don't have any counterplay. I mean, I have counterplay if I switch, but I don't have any counterplay on the actual Heracross, and I don't want to take an Earthquake right now. That's too much value lost. This could be Resto. Protect Earthquake. Hmm. Let's say he doesn't Terra. And I go to Great Tusk. That's okay. He goes Dozo on me. That's a wild play. Dozo's a wild, wild play. Dozo was not a counter. So he would wave crash into me. Is that worth the damage? No. I was gonna knock there too. So he doesn't want this knocked, which means he asks for substitute here. Okay, I mean protect here rather. Why would I, why would I say substitute? So let's try this again. So he didn't tear the Tinglu and thought Dozo was going to come in on my Heracross. So that's good to know. I don't regret the decision making. Um, interesting. Shit is boots. If I go samurai, mm. 
I can CC this turn and facade. He went Dozo last time, so maybe he thinks Dozo is taking two of these. I'd be very shocked if it did. Wow. That is a stab facade, ladies and gentlemen. That shit is a max to the motherfucking max. He has to protect, which we're staring down. I thought we'd be staring down Ditto, but. Toxic spikes. I mean, Quake would do a good bit. Hmm. Yeah, this might be the last battle. This definitely has to be. I can't <clears throat> have something to do at 8, 748, so I have 12 minutes to beat this guy. This is why I'm playing in a specific way as well. Because I need to beat him within a certain amount of time. So, uh, you know, obviously he has to go back to, to Tinglu. Okay. Very surprised by this. Considering now, that's an odd decision. Unless this has Protect as well. I must have protect on this too. Otherwise, this doesn't make any sense. Or maybe he just didn't think CC is better. CC actually blows the thing away. And the pecs. If this doesn't have protect, alright, yeah. So Ditto is gone. Um, this is one shotting. <laughs> the future side came about, but yeah. So he loses the Ditto. I'm guessing he's just, alright, fuck it, I'll give the Ditto up. But the thing about it is that um, I can just chilly reset. Like, there's nothing on his team that can stop my Corviknight from doing Corviknight things, right? I'll chilly reset first because I don't want Tinglu hard switching. It's a problem. Hmm. Fucking Dozo not being, um... One would assume might have, um... Defog here. Yeah. And stay in. So now he has to go for, um, the, the what's it called? He has to go for the um, set move called. So if I chilly recep into, as he wishes, I just position in a way where he can't go Tinglu. <clears throat> if I go Tusky, he's gonna kill me. I would get rid of the hazards, but I'm gone. Uh, if I go Pult, he just goes back to Tingmu and wishes. <clears throat> if I go Heracross, he just stays in and goes for the... Okay, he can get his Tingmu's health back. He can have the health back. So now I uh, force the Terra. <clears throat> Is it worth? No, he just, it wasn't Terra. Or he just didn't use it at least. Um, hmm. This Tingle is very important for him. Especially with the, mid the, the minimal damage he's doing. Yeah, we finally get that Molo, which is big. Uh, the, the heavy duty boots. Okay. Surprise the whirlpool there. That's fine. It's gonna protect, but that's okay. I don't mind that. At least I forced the, the mola to stay in. <clears throat> it's gonna have to wish wish into um Tinglu again. Which I don't mind. 
Again, I just need to have the, the positional advantage. So let's see, if I were to Hera, Hera is best here. Nice CC. He goes picks, then pivots to Dozo, I'm sure. Oh well. Okay. Facade destroys this Mola. And he has to protect. Which allows me to sludge bomb. Well, we have to Chili, obviously, because he's going to go back to Tinglu. So I don't know why he's not terroring. I know this is Terror Ghost. It has to be. And he has the Blissey. I guess he doesn't want to be Samurai weak. But you're finna get 8 if you don't Terror soon. Here it comes. It could be something other than Ghost, I guess. Because it just doesn't make sense why he hasn't Terror this yet. Actually, there's no reason not to close combat. Pex, I think Pex is at. See, I don't remember if Pex is at close combat range. Pex took 25, it's not. Oh, did I crit him? Ah, oh, that sucks, that sucks, dude. That sucks, that's a big crit. It's a massive crit. Heracross finally doing some fucking work. But this being crit and it not burning any sleep turns means it's 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 looking rough for um because Heracross is gonna get at least two more kills. It's looking rough for um for the Samurai matchup. He's not even gonna protect. Like this is the most obvious all he does. I didn't think he would. So chili recep. I mean um not chili recep. So now I can future sight. Uh, Tinglu coming in is not an issue any longer. Uh, Cause I can just go uh, hard rot. Is it hard rot or hard? Great test better. If I go hard Samurot. Samurot's the fucking win con. If I go hard Samurot. He has to stay in to protect. I don't need my focus sash. Plus I know he has to hazard that turn. Sacred sword as he protects. He goes Mola. He forgot about the um, future sight. If I uh, went for, yeah, he forgot about the future sight. I mean, he could have Toxic, but there's no reason for me to risk that. Though Ceaseless... Tinglu isn't even taking rocks. None of them are taking hazards, anyway. So let's just pay patiently. Yeah, Toxic is his best play there. Future side is beautiful here because it always forces him to have to go straight to Tinglu. And I can Rapid Spin or just body him with, with Great Tusk at this point. Frankly, the Great Tusk is far more important. Um, <clears throat> him having protect spikes, it could be whirlwind last move. Um, Dragapult is not necessary, and if Heracross gets a free switch in, it's a bloodbath. Though I don't know how I'd get a free switch, but yeah. Uh, I just gotta be patient with this shit. Yeah, it keeps forgetting about the future site. Now it's over. Because if it's Terra Ghost, I just ceaseless edge spam. So I just iron defense here. And here comes the Terra Ghost. If he had it the whole time and didn't use it on this. But yeah. Um. Excuse me, but we got that done. I have three minutes to go before eight. So as I said, I have to go, my friends. Hopefully, I'll enjoy that stall game, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Heracross is king.